Hey guys, I'm Tyler and I got all my stuff here for a perfect vanilla custard based ice cream. So let's go! Alright, so we're going to be making a custard base, which is my favorite and pretty much everyone else's favorite because it's rich and creamy because of these bad boys. Egg yolks. Grab the pot. We've got a cup and a half of humble milk, 4%. Once you drain your udders with the milk, we're going to be moving on to the sugar. Now you take the half cup of sugar, half of that goes in here, and the other half goes in here. It doesn't have to be exact, just figure it out yourself. There's a live one. There we go. And then we throw three egg yolks in there. Don't mix it too much because I find I've done that before and then it gets too foamy when it goes on the stove. Because we will be cooking this after. We have half the sugar in here and the milk. And we're putting it on the stove. And I put it just, just above the like pretty much the lowest setting. Now we got two teaspoons of vanilla. Put that in while this is kind of just warming up here. So let the vanilla soak in. Oh baby, it tastes good. Okay, now that the milk is a little bit warm, we're gonna add the egg yolk. Now we'll just slowly stir this until it gets to 180 degrees, and then you know that your custard is thick. So what we're doing is we're just cooking the egg yolk because we don't want no salmonella. Okay, so we hit 180 on this puppy. Make sure um, that you clean this off before you put it in there because you might have some meat juice from the other night. Look at the difference from when we first started. Look how much thicker it already is. Now we got this nice and thick on the stove. We'll throw it in the fridge, leave it overnight, and tomorrow we'll give her a nice churn. I find when you leave it overnight, it gets it nice and thick and kind of all comes together. Science does stuff. So now that we got this out of the fridge, I got one cup of whipping cream in here. Dump her in. Oh yeah. Let that baby bath in there with his homies. This is gonna turn out nicely. <laughs> Look at that. Now that looking like French vanilla. So you can taste it, because it's your ice cream. I can taste it, because it's mine. No one can tell you different. Oh, that's unreal. What this tastes like is pretty much what it'll taste like when it's churned. That's a good way to test. <laughs> you really don't have to churn it. You could just eat it like this. Put on some strawberries. No, but I'd probably churn it because then it gives it a nice ice cream. Right now it's just a crib. So now, hopefully you magically have an ice cream bucket already. Pull your little canister. Put the cream. I like to smell everything before I put it in there. Pretty much what you smell is what it will taste like. So if it's not like clean, then your cream will probably absorb the stank. So make sure your things are clean. That, just gonna put some ice around here. Put the ice in there. I just kind of eyeball it. I don't really know how much it's probably a good ratio out there somewhere but now just pretty much wait about half an hour and should be ice cream let's take a look oh baby the reveal look at that oh yeah now that is what we're looking for so easy to make And um, a big thing is too, if you're using this exact thing, make sure you don't put it over your ice cream because it's pure salted, uh, melted water around. That would be gross. So keep it away and drop her in. Look at that. Why would you ever have to go for ice cream ever again? And plus you can taste the passion. 
how to make French vanilla ice cream. Make sure you exercise if you're making this stuff.